Kolkata, the capital city of West Bengal, has a long-standing relationship with electrified public transport system dating back 100 years. In 1902, Kolkata became the first city in Asia to introduce electric trams. Today, the city is teeming with a diverse range of transport systems like buses, auto rickshaws, trams, ferries, metros and railways. As urbanization found its way through the lanes of Kolkata, people and their aspirations both witnessed a boom. In the span of merely two decades, the number of motor vehicles on Kolkata's road has seen an exponential rise of almost 2900%. This rapid growth of vehicles in the city has led to several urban challenges, including congestions on road, limited space for pedestrian mobility, and air pollution due to vehicular emission. In its effort to mitigate congestion and vehicular emission, the Energy and Resources Institute with support from the West Bengal Transport Corporation has been working on a roadmap to usher a low carbon future for Kolkata. The first step in this direction has been the introduction of electric vehicles such as electric buses to the city's public transport fleet. The Energy and Resources Institute undertook a study with the support of West Bengal Transport Corporation for accelerating net zero transition of public transportation in Kolkata. This study was undertaken primarily in view of the fact that the state had set up an ambitious target of adding 1,260 electric buses by 2025, a quantum jump from the current strength of 80 e-buses. The State Transport Corporation was also desirous of study of electrification of ferries. Uh, recently, a, ministry, a panel by Ministry of Petroleum and Natural Gas has recommended a ban on the use of diesel-powered vehicles for four-wheelers four in million-plus cities by 2027. This is something that Kolkata City also adheres to. Hence, through this project, Terry aims to help Kolkata, especially the power and the transport department, to assess the public transportation needs, to assess the power system impact and its demand, and also its impact on the distribution network to help Kolkata meet the target of net zero by 2017. This study presents a roadmap for transitioning to clean public transportation in the city of Joy. This study suggests the location of EV charging stations based on a survey by gathering the traffic pattern of buses, two-wheelers, three-wheelers and four-wheelers. The electrical load incident by the e-buses, two-wheelers, three-wheelers and four-wheelers on the electricity distribution network has also been estimated based on their deployment schedule. This study also presents assessment of reduction in the city level air pollution and GHG emissions reduction on account of electrification. Our efforts aim to provide a cleaner and greener transportation for the citizens of Kolkata. We are grateful for the support of WBTC in this endeavor and we hope that our study will serve as a valuable guide to the concerned authorities to transition to clean transportation in the city. Kolkata urban system is one of the unique case because Kolkata as a city which has more than five to six modes of transportation. When we are saying five to six modes, it has the transportation modes with the uh, rail mode. Rail mode we have tram, we have trains and we have metro. And in terms of the uh, second one, we have the waterborne, we have the one of the city which we have the oldest uh, uh, ferry movement between the, uh, between the cities. We have the road based transportation as we have in other cities in the country. Getting a decarbonization or a net zero in the public transportation system is much need of the hour so that we can get tangible emission reductions over the period of time which can be a kind of the better possibility for a health related aspects in the city. Government through WBTC which is the West Bengal Transport Corporation is taking multiple initiatives to reduce the emissions in the city. And we from Terry we are working closely with uh, WBTC in terms of doing multiple projects which can come up with the significant outcomes so that we can collectively combat uh, climate change as well as air pollution.